Okay, we're going to talk about the uh, GPS chart basics uh, in this tutorial. And um, this is, uh, again, 5208. As you can see on the screen here, I have uh, all of my options available to me. By that, I mean I've got charts. Uh, the unit comes as a GPS chart plotter, so it comes as a chart plotter ready to go. But I also have hooked up a sonar box, so I make this unit into a fish finder. I also have hooked up a radar, so I make this unit into a radar. And I've got my weather box hooked up. So if if you have all of these accessories hooked up, you'll have boxes for each of these. If you don't have a radar hooked up, then that box will just be missing. So let's go ahead and uh, go into the chart. So I'm going to hit my chart option. Now I've got a couple options. First thing I want to do is go into navigational charts. And of course you're going to use this when you're navigating. So here's my GPS page. There's my boat right there in the center. At the bottom, if you can read this down here, it says 12 nautical miles. That's my scale. What that means is that that width, about the width of my thumbnail, is 12 nautical miles. And I'm looking at about, I've got about 10 of those widths along the bottom, so I'm looking at a very, very large area. If I want to zoom in and see more detail, then I'm going to hit the plus button. Plus, plus button is going to zoom down. As I get to about 5 nautical miles, you'll see I start to look like a NOAA chart. I'm just going to keep zooming in and zooming in. You'll see my boat stays right there in the center. As I get down a little bit further, I'm at 3 nautical miles. Now I've got lots and lots and lots of detail on there. So, what does all this detail mean? Well, let's just take a look at it. First of all, the white is showing deeper water. The blue is showing shallower water. In Right here, these are called spot soundings. So this means that's 11 feet of water, 7 feet of water, 3 feet of water. Now that is calculated from the NOAA chart, and that is just mean low or average low water. Not currently what's right there, but that's the average low water that would be at those locations. Okay. Uh, the red and green buoys, of course, are the red and green buoys you're going to see out on the water. So they should be seeing in the same position that you would be seeing them out on the water. Also, on those buoys, I'm going to go ahead and move the map. With this touch screen, it's very simple. I'm going to go ahead and just drag my finger. With these buoys, you'll see this, this buoy right here is, is buoy number one. It says FLG, flashing green, 2.5S means it's flashing green every two and a half seconds, and 5M, five meters high, so you can see the type of visibility on that screen. Here's, a, here's another one. Number two, flashing red every four seconds and seven feet. So you can get an idea of the height on those. Right? Here's a great way to see all the different buoys in there and the channels. You can see here the deeper water, the shallow water, and now the channel running into all these marinas. While we're right there at the marinas, let's go ahead and tab over. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. You see all these uh, S's and T's over here. Let me show you what that means. What that means is, now you can see these sailboats. That means that there's a marina right there. I'm going to go ahead and tap, hit that, that marina. You'll see the, the uh, options pop up. That's Dinner Key Marina. I can get some information about that. If you want to get uh, some more information about that marina, what you can do is see the S button right there. If I tap the S button, it actually gives me tons and tons of detail about that marina. So if I, see, if I want to get information about Grove Key Marina, I tap the S for services, and I tap on the right-hand side, Marine Services. Now this gives me a ton of information about that marina. Phone numbers, what they offer, do they sell beer, do they sell gas, do they offer uh, overnight slips, etc. If I want to navigate to it, I've got my option, I can navigate right to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button. So those marinas, those are built in to the, the machine. You do not have to buy anything else, and those are built right in. Another really nice feature here, if I can zoom in just a little bit, see this T. That is a tide station. This is critical, especially if you're in a boat with a little bit deeper draft. You want to know what the tide is doing right now. If you're in this marina, you want to know what the tide is, just hit the T for tides. And now what I can do is see what the tide is going to be at that spot. I hit the review button. I hit dinner key marina. And here is the tide for that day. Now this corresponds with our current time. 
Um, here's a high tide, a low tide, a second high tide, a low tide. So right now, we're almost at dead low, and the tide will be coming back up. Great, great information, again, if you're navigating uh, unfamiliar waters. If you need to know what the tide's going to be for tomorrow, if you're out fishing, you can just hit the next day, and now it shows me what the tide's going to be tomorrow. If you want to change the date and see what the, the tides are going to be in a week or a month or a year, just go ahead and hit the change date feature. Really nice. All right, let's go back. Okay, what other information can I get from the chart? Well, this is critical. This is a bridge going across the intercoastal waterway. If I just tap on that on that bridge, um, you can see that I can get the bridge height off of there. So tap on the bridge, I get an option that says bridge. Go ahead and tap that information. It says fixed bridge, horizontal clearance, 120 feet, vertical clearance, 76 feet, and also reiterates the height at 76 feet. In very, very critical information if you're going down there, on, especially in a sailboat. I hit the back button. What else could I get from this uh, from this page? Tons and tons of information. All these eyes on screen, the eye box, eye box right there, is information about the chart. If I really want to get some information about the chart itself, if I just tap on the screen anywhere, if I tap the information button, now all I can do is hit the chart notes. And now I get information about the chart itself, when it was made, when it was updated, how old that information might be. I also get the chart number and you can get information about the scale in there. So really, really great information. All that is built in to the, uh, the unit itself. All right, I'll hit the back button now. I'm gonna hit the stop panning button. That's gonna bring our boat right back to the center. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's see if we can get some more information out of this chart. I'm just going to go ahead and tap the chart right next to the boat, and I've got an option down here, information. I'm going to go ahead and hit the information tab. This is great. This allows me to see all that information, the closest points to me. So now I can find the closest tide station, the closest currents or celestial chart notes, local services. So all of those little T's and S's that I saw on the, on the map, if I couldn't see them on the map itself and I wanted to find the little closest ones, I could just hit the chart, go to information, and now I can find the closest tide station. So here it is. Here's the closest tide station at Bear Cut, 1.52 miles away. I can get the tide. If I wanted to get the look, the currents, how fast the current is flowing around me, again, here are some stations that show me how fast the current is flowing. Uh, this is, again, the closest current station to me is Caesar Creek on Biscayne Bay. And you can see the tides flooding and ebbing and flooding and ebbing. Again, reference with my, my, t my uh, time currently on screen. Hit back. What other information can I get? Celestial information. If you're cruising, you want to know how much time you have until sunset, this, in, this screen can get that information for you. Chart notes. We talked about that already. Again, you can, be, you can see what chart you're, lo you're, you're listening to, what chart you're looking at, and also uh, the age of that chart. Uh, more on information, again, I can go to local services. So now, if I didn't know the, uh, I wanted to find the closest marina, I can go ahead and here's my list of all the marinas. I hit a Rickenbacker Causeway, Rickenbacker Marina, and there's the local marina. All that information is built into the unit. There's no other chips or charts that you have to buy. All that is built in, which is just phenomenal. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop panning. Okay, let's say you're in unfamiliar water and you need to find the closest gas station or you want to find the closest tide station. How do you do that? Well, easiest way, just go ahead and tap the screen and you're going to get an option that pops up, information. I can tap the information box. Now I've got all this information at my fingertips. The closest tide station. If I want to find out what the tides are, here's, a, here's all the tide stations that are close to me. I'll choose the closest one and now I've got the tides. What else can I get? How about currents? If you want to find out what the current is doing, how fast it's flowing or eb ebbing or flowing, again, I can get the closest tide station to see where the currents are, how fast they're moving, which direction they're moving. Great, great information. If you want more, we can offer it. How about celestial? If you're cruising, you want to know how, uh, how, how long you can go until sunset. There's, here's some information about sunrise and sunset. So it gives you, an information, uh, gives, gives you some information on how uh, much daylight you're going to have. What else have we got? Chart notes. We talked about this a little bit already. Chart notes will give you the, the uh, chart that you're looking at, also the age of that chart, when it was last updated, etc. So great information there. 
hit information again. Again, now this shows me my local services. So if you're in unfamiliar water, you need gas, you need fuel, you need uh, diesel, you need food, whatever, hit the local services. Now this lists all the marinas and, and services around you. Choose the one that you want to go to. How about Grove Isle? Here's Grove Isle Marina. Gives you their phone number, what channel they're working, and what they offer. Great, great information at your fingertips.